This video is to demonstrate the different settings available for the DFE and DFS2 type force gauges. In order to go into the display mode, you press the display button. Now, here we are in a screen that allows you to rotate the screen 180 degrees for mounting the gauge in custom fixturing or even performing compression verifications with uh, custom fixturing as well. So in order to rotate the screen you would press the on button and here we are 100 degrees, 180 degrees uh, rotated on the gauge. In order to bring the display back to normal position we would press the F3 button, this button here that aligns with the off text on top of the menu. So you'd press the off button. Now the next display screen available is the intensity. So we're going to bring uh, the gauge back to normal intensity, uh, but you could also increase it here by pressing the high button or decrease using the low button. The next screen here is for doing blind testing, which means that if you want to hide the display so there is no bias, you can press the, the yes button here, which will hide the display. Now I can perform test and it's recording peak value, but they're not displayed, so there's not any bias in the uh, test results. Now if I go back to the home screen, you can see that um, there was a force that was recorded, uh, but it wasn't viewed when you were in the hide mode of the screen. So if we go back to the home screen, and then we want to um, select the more button, press the more button four times and then we can go into the auto dimming mode. The auto dimming mode is a great feature because it allows you to save uh, battery power uh, and extend the life of, of your, your battery uh, by put it, setting the auto dimming to on. And when the auto dimming is on it will go to your high settings of, of backlight and then automatically dim down after 30 seconds. So this is a, a great tip for uh, extending your battery life. 